Hey everybody, Phil Easy here. Today I'm going to take you through transplanting tomato plants to get maximum yields. A couple tricks that I've picked up over the years and I just want to take you through how I generally uh, will plant these tomatoes. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the thumbs up. Let's go! So what I like to use with my tomatoes when I'm planting is just a couple things. I have my scissors. I'm going to use those to cut open the tray. This is going to help me dig my hole. I have a bit of all-purpose fertilizer. This happens to be a 444. And I have a little bit of this uh, mic mycorrhizae um, stuff that I'll put on to try to help with the uh, roots. Okay, as you can see, I have a lot of mulch in this greenhouse, so I have to spread the mulch away, get my zone that I'm going to plant my tomato in, cleared out. I'm going to loosen the soil a little bit. We're going to end up laying the tomato, I'll show you, but we're going to lay it sideways. So then I'll just push all this nice stuff to the side, because I'm going to end up covering the tomato plant with it again. But we're creating a bit of a trench. I'd say it's about a foot long. Now we're going to take some fertilizer. I use uh, just an all-purpose 444, some sort of fertilizer stuff. We'll mix that into the soil itself. That's going to be down where the roots are. And now we're going to cut out of the cell. We're going to cut cut our tomato out of the cell. I find that's the best way to do it so I don't disrupt the roots as much. Pull the tomato out. We're going to take the leaves off the lower part of the stem. Quite a few of them all the way up. I'm leaving about three or four at the top. That's the part that will be sticking out. I've noticed if you get the same thing where your roots look like they're getting bound a little bit, kind of winding up, just rough them out gently. Try to get them so they're not growing in on each other. That'll help with the growth. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the mycorrhizae, which is going to help have a certain kind of fungus grow in here that's very beneficial to the plant. Now I lay the tomato plant sideways in the trench. I'm going to put a slight bend. You don't have to bend it too much. You don't want to snap your plant. And I'm going to backfill over top of the stem itself and the root ball. Press that down, firm it in. Your tomato does not have to be standing straight up at this point. Mine still has a bit of an angle, that's okay. It'll end up reaching towards the uh, sun. So the other part I'll do is I'll put a little bit of uh, compost on here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna backfill. Make sure it's patted down nicely. Backfill your mulch carefully. You don't want to bury your stems itself in mulch. You don't want it laying on top of the leaves either. So there we go. And then we're going to water this and we are done for the tomatoes. There you go, everybody. That's how I like to transplant my tomato plants out into the ground, into the greenhouse, and to do it in a way that maximizes the amount of tomatoes we're going to get in the end. We buried them nice and deep. So there'll be roots coming out of those stems, nice big root ball in the end, nice big plant, lots of fruit. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.